Hello there, beauty ravers, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Raven, and this is where I like to rave about beauty. If you would ever so kindly hit that like and subscribe button to become part of my little family here on YouTube, it means so much to me. Now, without further ado, let's jump on into the video. Hi guys, today is a super fun video, and I know I say that a lot, but this one really is because I'm collaborating with the beautiful, the wonderful, the talented Lisa Ann here on YouTube. And if you're not familiar with her, please check out my description box for her channel. It will be linked down below and she is amazing. You will love her content. I promise you that But if you don't believe me go check it out. So you find out yourself. We're collaborating on our makeup Of course, I mean it's my channel. Did you expect anything else? But the main focus of this collaboration is our melt palettes and mine being the Gemini Hers being the she's in parties and I am excited to see what she does because we chose each other's shades and products for our entire look so I'm talking primer, I'm talking foundation, I'm talking lid shades, I'm talking brows. We chose everything for each other. So everything I use today will be handpicked from Elisa herself. We sent each other a list of products that we own in our collection, about three of each category, and then we went through and picked from each other's list the products we wanted each other to use. Super exciting, super fun. She actually brought this idea to me, and I thought it was an amazing idea, and I'm so glad that she did. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you're coming from Lisa's channel, hi, it's me, your girl. Please stick around and watch some more of my videos after this if you want to. Got tons of content for you. You can binge it if you want. I'd appreciate it. But now, without further ado, let's jump on in to this look. Alright guys, so as you know from the name of the video, also the beginning of the video, we're doing a collab today. And the most fun part about this video is that Lisa picked everything we're using today. So I'm using my Gemini palette, of course, one of my favorites, we all know this. But she picked my shades today, so let's see what she picked for me. I'm going to pop them all on the screen really quickly so you can see what we're playing with. But the shades that she chose are the shades Luna, Lorelei, Polka Dot, and Mochi. So now, what kind of placement do we want to use these shades in? I'm really excited for the colors that she picked for me because I do have a video already with this palette on my channel. And if you want to check that out, of course I'll link it in the cards. But in that video, I used most of the greens in this palette. So I'm happy that she picked some of the shades I haven't played with with you guys yet. I've of course used I think every shade in this palette, but you guys have not seen me play with these shades yet. So I'm really excited to dive into this with you guys but I don't know what I want to start with. I have already gone ahead and primed my eyes and my face using the primers that she chose for me today, which are the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. And for my eye primer, I used my NYX Pigment Primer. And I have already added a little bit of my concealer because I'm breaking out a little bit, as you can probably see. Concealer doesn't cover everything. But also, I'm feeling very red and puffy today, so I, I didn't want you guys to see that. I, I get like that. I think I have rosacea not really sure sometimes I flare up sometimes I don't it's really random and weird so I just wanted to cover that with some concealer but the concealer that she chose for me is the elf hydrating camo concealer and I have mine in the shade light ivory so that is what's on my face right now nothing else but we are going to start with my eyes so the first shade I'm gonna dive into today is gonna be Luna and I'm gonna use that as our transition shade and I'm just taking that shade on a big fluffy blending brush from profusion and this palette does contain a a mirror but I'm just gonna use mine because it's larger and easier for me to see so I am popping that up in the upper crease and yeah we're just gonna blend that out with some circular motions and window wiper esque motions you know the drill I'm excited to see what kind of look Lisa creates using the shades that I chose for her and the other products that I chose for her. I thought this was a super fun collab idea that she actually thought of and I'm so happy that she reached out to me because of course I wanted to do this with her. She is a good friend of mine. We met here on YouTube but we do talk quite a lot now on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. We pretty much have each other on every social media platform there is. And I really do think she's amazing, and I think you guys would really love her channel. She's super fun, and her channel is mostly makeup, if not all makeup. I'm not really sure if I've seen a video from her yet that's not makeup related, actually. But I love it because that's kind of the content I'm looking for most. So, yeah, she's super fun to watch, and I think you guys will really enjoy her. But, yeah, I'm really excited because I wanted to play more with this palette, but I didn't really know how because it is an older palette, and, I mean, 
I already did one video with it, so I'm like, ugh, do people really want to see it? But a collab is always a good idea and always makes something that might be older a little bit more fun to play with. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to this eye, and we're going to go into our second shade. So for our second shade, I'm going to take the shade Lorelli, and we're going to pop that in the outer portion of the crease. And I'm just taking that shade on a tapered blending brush from Luna Magic. And again, we're just going to pop that right up here, and we're going to do basically the same motions as we did with the first shade. It's pretty much the only motions you do with your crease work, or at least that's pretty much the only motions I do with my crease work. I really do love this palette, especially for the mattes. Oh my god, do they blend like a dream. They're just so buttery and creamy, and I just, I love them so much. So now I like how that's looking. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this eye, and then we'll jump into our third shade. So for our third shade today, we're going to be using Mochi, and I think how I want to incorporate this shadow is going to be on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to be taking that shade on my Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. So just popping that in. And to smudge it out, I'm going to use my Luna Magic Smudger Brush. It doesn't actually have a name, but that's what I use it for anyway. Adding a little bit more product and then just going to smudge it out. So now that I like how that's looking, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. Now let's go in with our fourth and final shade in the palette. And that shade is going to be Polka Dot today, which is this nice brown. Any guesses on how I'm going to apply this shade? Yep, that's right, you guessed it. I'm going to pop it in my outer V to give this look a little bit more depth. And I'm just going to be taking that on my 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush from Zoeva. And again, just popping that in my outer V. And I'm going to blend it out with that same Luna Magic brush from earlier. Just lightly blending that shade out, holding the very end of my brush. This is honestly probably one of the most neutral looks I've done on my channel so far. And I hope that you guys like it. Let me know if you do. I can do more neutral looks if that's something you guys would like to see. I just personally prefer playing with color. But, I mean, I can throw in some neutral looks here and there. If that would be something you're interested in, please let me know down below. But I like how that looks. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Now you're probably thinking, Raven, what are you going to do with your lid? You're out of shades to play with. And you're right to a certain extent. Extent. We are done with the Gemini palette. However, we decided to pick a little bit of a special topper shade for each of our looks, and the one that she chose for me is going to be one of my favorite shimmers in my entire collection, which is going to be Torch from Cleona Cosmetics. I absolutely love this shimmer. I'd pop it out to show it to you individually, but I don't want to go through the hassle of taking it out of the Magnetic palette, so just know it's this red one right here, and it does shift amazingly. There's like orange, and then there's gold, and then there's red. It is just a gorgeous shimmer and I cannot wait to put it all over my eye. However, beforehand, of course, we're going to use some NYX Glitter Primer. I actually forgot to ask her if I was allowed to use this in the look today, but I mean, since I didn't ask, I guess I can cheat the code a little bit, huh? <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind. I'm sure she won't care, but I do want to use this. I use it with every shimmer. It's kind of just second nature for me to use it, so I completely forgot to ask her if she wanted me to use it or not because, I mean, it's not something I think about. I just go in and I do it every single day, you know what I mean? So I'm going to use a little bit of that to cut my crease a little bit. And the brush I'm going to use to do so is my Doe Color Number no. 5 brush. It's funny because Lisa has these brushes as well, this exact same set. So I'm wondering if she's going to use hers in this video as well. That would be fun to see, right? But anyways, this is what I'm going to use to cut the crease. Pretty much all I do is add the NYX Glitter Primer to my lid. I go a little bit above my natural crease, and then I stop where things start to deepen up in the outer V. And the reason I like to use this rather than concealer is because it's a lot easier and less messy. And I think you can be a little bit more precise with this method, which I really enjoy. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Alright, now that my creases are cut, I'm just going to apply Torch all over my lid. And the brush I'm going to use to do so is my Medium Sweeper E54 from Sigma. Do you guys see how beautiful this Cleona shimmer is? Oh my goodness, do I love it so, so much. And now you can probably see why it's one of my favorites in my entire collection. <laughs> Alright, I'm loving how that looks, so I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. I'm going to now use the eyeliner that she picked out for me today. This NYX Retractable Liner in the shade Gold. So I'm going to use that in my waterline. And she also said she wants me to do a wing today, and I picked that as well for her. So I'm interested to see what the liner she uses for that. 
But the one I'm using is going to be my e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Jet Black. So I'm going to do that really quickly off camera just because this process takes a little bit longer than I think you guys want to watch. So I will be right back. All right, so I added my liners. Now I'm going to add the mascara and lashes that Elisa chose for me. And the ones that she chose are the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and also the House of Lashes Demure Light Eyelashes. And I'm going to add those off camera as well just because, again, they take a little bit more time and I just don't think anybody cares to see that. So I'm going to be right back. Alright, now that my mascara and lashes are on, not only do I feel more like myself, but we can also jump into the other products we have to use today. I'm going to start with foundation, and the foundation that she chose for me today is the Juvia's Place Shade Stick. I have mine in the shade Aberdeen, which is a very pasty white because I am a ghost, as you can see. I'm going to apply this really quickly. Gotta move the wig out of the way. I chose a red wig, by the way, because if you didn't know, Lisa is a natural redhead, and I envy her for that. So I decided to bring in the ginger vibes today, and I'm loving it. I love red hair. It's gorgeous. Freckles, beautiful. Gingers have it made, guys, I'm telling you. So anyway, I'm going to apply this, and I usually do one strip here and one strip there. I do one right here on the chin one on my cupid's bow, one on my nose, and I do the exact same thing on this side, one right here, one right here, and then I'll do the forehead in a second because I have a hat on, I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> and the brush I'm going to use to buff that out today is one of my Jess Up brushes, this is just a flat tip um, foundation brush, and yeah, I'm just going to, you know, smooth it out. I like to try and just do downward strokes because that way there's less creasing and less lines, if that makes sense. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations, by the way. It's so creamy and dewy and just beautiful. And it's like light to medium coverage, depending on how much you build it up. And I really enjoy it because I don't like something too cakey or thick on my face but this is a very skin like texture after it's applied it feels like it's your own skin you can touch it without being tacky and I really appreciate that also I love the shade range that Juvia's Place has they are a black owned indie brand which I absolutely love and I really enjoy a lot of their products but this is one of my all-time favorites alright so I went ahead and finished my foundation off camera now we can go ahead and jump into our bronzer for the day and the one that she chose for me is the Marc Jacobs Omega mega bronzer and tantric and it just looks like this this thing is massive I love it it's so pretty on the skin but like man oh man is this thing like the size of my head no not actually my head is huge but this is probably the size of like normal people heads <laughs> and to apply it I'm just going to use this Jessup brush this is like an angled bronzing brush blush brush I'm not really sure but I use it for all my bronzers and honestly guys if you're not familiar with Jessup brushes they are so affordable and you can find them on Amazon you can actually find some of their brush sets for 15 pieces for $25 super affordable and the quality is actually really good I have some of their eye brushes as well and I really enjoy those too I just really like Jessup as a brand and I highly recommend them so I am going to apply this bronzer now now you're gonna see that my wig is not glued down yeah we're gonna shh, don't mention it <laughs> but we're going to apply this basically wherever the sun hits I pretty much just put it where I would put contour and a little bit onto the cheekbones as well so I'll show you what I mean you know basically just make it look like I have color to my skin because I obviously do not <laughs> until we have something like that then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side and I do like to add a little bit to the underneath of my chin just to hide that unwanted extra skin you know <laughs> try to camouflage it as much as possible and a little bit on the jawline now usually I would add some to my temples because that's usually where the sun would hit it as well. But because I'm wearing a hat, you're not going to see it anyway, so I'm not going to do that. We're just going to move on to our next product, which is blush. And I am a fiend for blush, so I'm excited to get into that with you guys. And the blush that Lisa chose for me today is my Sigma one in the shade In the Saddle. And honestly, this color I could probably use as a bronzer because I am so light. But it is a blush, and that's what we're going to be using it as today. And it is beautiful. I'm very happy I picked it up on a killer sale mind you this blush was three dollars and thirty three cents 
I believe it retails normally for $20. So I got a steal of a deal, if you will. I'm very, very happy about that. Sigma likes to do these annual sales, and when they do, they are incredible. So I highly recommend keeping your eye on Sigma because I got some of their brushes for super affordable as well. But the brush I'm going to be using for my blush is not from Sigma. This is an AOA Studio High Def brush. These are really good too, guys. I believe this was like a dollar, maybe two, but that's it. And it's an amazing brush. I'm really, really impressed and highly recommend AOA as well, which is Shop Miss A if you're unfamiliar. So I really like a heavy blush moment, so I'm really going to pack that on, but if you would rather put in less, that's totally fine. Of course, do whatever you feel comfortable with. But I just like to take it from my apples all the way up to almost my temples, and then we will blend it out in a second here. Going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And then I also like to blush my nose, so just a little bit on the center. I think a blush nose is super duper cute, but of course you can skip that if you don't feel comfortable. Now I'm going to take a big fluffy powder brush, and I'm not going to add powder, but I'm just going to buff out everything and make it coexist nicely. I just like to use a fluffy blending brush rather than the brushes I go in with initially because I feel like it's easier to blend out. And I'm just going over everything that we blushed and bronzed today. Alright, so I think this looks cute. Now let's go in with our highlighter. And for today's highlighter, I'm super happy with the choice that she made. We are going to be using the Kaleido Space Age Prophecy Highlighter, which is a multi-chrome highlighter. I know, guys, multi-chrome. I rant and rave about this highlighter so often. It's just amazing, and I'm very happy that she picked it so I can use it again. I love to incorporate it whenever I can. I'm just going to use this big Farah 35E brush. So I'm just going to apply that where you would normally apply your highlighter. Do you guys see how shifty and beautiful this highlight is? Oh my goodness. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm going to highlight the nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and I'm going to come back and we're going to get into the brows because Lord knows they need to be done. <laughs> Alright guys, this highlighter is absolutely incredible. We already knew that though. Let's move on to our brows, but first I actually do want to use the highlighter as my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight today because we didn't have a shade for that, but now we do right? <laughs> and I'm actually going to use both ends of this double-ended brush from Dose of Colors to do so. So taking the more pointy side, I'm going to use that for the inner corner highlight. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah. Yep, that was the right move. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Almost forgot we didn't have my brows on, so I'm going to wait to do the brow bone highlight until after my brows are done. So I'm going to show you the products I'm using on them today, and then I'm going to do them off camera. Because again, a little bit longer of a process, and honestly it's not that exciting, so I will be doing that off camera. But the products that she chose for me today are my all-time favorite brow pencil, which is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Blackest Brown and I'm so glad she chose this one. It has one of the most fine tips in my brow collection and I love it. I honestly think this is a dupe for the ABH Brow Wiz, but this is also like $6 and the Brow Wiz is like $20, $23, something like that. And I used to repurchase that all the time, but since I found this LA Girl one, I haven't looked back. So definitely recommend this one. If you are someone who is a fan of the ABH Brow Wiz, I think you'll really like this one. But she also picked my Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind for me to use today. So I am going to really quickly go do those two things to my brows and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so the brows are filled in and I feel so much better, okay? I really feel like the brows bring looks together sometimes, especially since I shave my tails off, so uh, my brows really pull my looks together once they're done. But now we have to use the setting spray that she chose for me, and the one that she chose is my Revolution Watermelon Setting Spray, which is funny because it's actually the one I've been using the past couple of weeks, so I'm happy to use it. it was right next to me. It's an easy one for me, but now let me spray the face and we can get into the lips. <laughs> I swear this stuff smells so good. It's purely why I have it in my collection. <laughs> I've actually seen that Lisa has one of those battery activated handheld um, fans to dry off her face and I think I need to get myself one of those because that's really smart Lisa. <laughs> but for now the hands will have to do. <laughs> Alright now that I'm all dry we can go in with our lip product today and the one that she chose for me is my Black Moon Cosmetics 
Cider, and this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. Very happy that she chose it for me. It is a liquid lipstick, and Black Moon Cosmetics is an indie brand that I absolutely love and definitely recommend checking out if you haven't already. But this is just such a unique color to my collection. It's like a Dijon mustard yellow. You'll see. Let's shut the lips and actually apply it, Raven. Look at how beautiful this color is. I love it so much, and I think with this look, it looks super duper cute. So now let's wrap it up. I'm going to change out of my robe into some actual clothes, and then we can chat a little bit. I almost forgot, but I did go ahead and add my brow bone highlight off camera. Let's zoom us in and check out the look, and then we'll zoom out and chat a little bit. Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. I cannot wait to see what she comes up with. She is so talented and so creative. And I know I picked some beautiful products for her to use. So I can't wait to see what she does. And I totally recommend you checking her out if you haven't already. I will link her channel down below, of course. Check out my description box for her channel as well as her part of this collab. Because I am so, so happy that she wanted to do this with me. Seriously, this is amazing. I love her so much. She's so fun. We talk on a daily basis. She's one of my good friends now, and I'm really glad that we met. So thank you, Lisa, for such an awesome collab idea. I absolutely love it, and I think this look is super duper cute. You picked some killer products, and I am very proud of you. You definitely have a keen eye for makeup, and this became such a cohesive look. You did a great job. Cannot wait to see how she applies the products I chose, and hopefully I picked a good color scheme as well. But I guess we're just gonna have to watch her video to find out now, won't we? <laughs> anyway, I hope we had some fun. I hope you have a wonderful day, and stay beautiful. Mwah.